Hi guys, Tom Krupar. The next exercise I'm going to show you is a cervical snag, S-N-A-G. It stands for Sustained Natural Apophyseal Glide, um, uh, an exercise um, introduced by Brian Mulligan. Um, ex excellent exercise to gain range of motion and um, improved just general neck uh, range of motion. But mostly this is for rotation when you're having trouble looking to see if cars are coming. All you're going to need is a hand towel for this exercise. You can do the sitting, you can do it standing, um, just be comfortable when you're doing it. Don't be surprised also if you get some uh, crunching or popping initially. Um, but for most people, even um, with that, this is a very comfortable exercise. Uh, most people love it. Um, it really feels good to do. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hand towel, place it around your neck, and the position of the towel is going to be right at the base of the skull, um, but you want the ends to be able to come right around your cheekbones. So this is where it gets a little difficult. And from this position, you're going to cross one over your chest and then switch hands. So now my left hand is becoming an anchor that's just going to hold the towel in place. My right hand is going to have that towel and it's going to bring it right across my cheekbone and then I'm going to pull straight across with a little bit of an upwards motion, about 15 degrees of upwards angle to that pull, like so. You can do that um, in repetitions, just back and forth. Or you can hold that. If it feels good, feel free to hold it. I usually have my patients hold that for about five seconds. Um, I like to do um, one rotations to one side and then we'll flip over and do the other. So you're not going to go back and forth, it's just too much trouble. So now to go to the left, you're going to flip this side down, flip, flip the left side down, grab it with your left hand, switch hands, hold this down, and again pull to the left and back. Okay. So one of the ways you're going to know you're doing this correctly is when you switch hands, you're always going to be pulling, pulling into rotation. If you don't switch your hands, you're going to be pushing into rotation, and that's not the right way to do that. So a little bit of a difficult exercise, but when you get the hang of this, it's going to work wonderfully. You're going to like this exercise a lot.